I am a non engineer for a higher education app and a few years ago, optimizing for large screens was challenging. But now, alongside the growth in large screen devices and new innovative tools which make developing easier, what are the latest innovation in hardware and what does that mean for us developers? First up at MWC, I visited the Oppo booth where I got to hold their latest foldable, the Find N2 Flip. I think the most important uh, feature would be um, the camera, just the fine place, and uh, you can take a selfie very easily. You can choose the music very quick in the outer screen, so you don't have to you know, open the phone. And the other one, we provide some very handy tool, like a, a calendar event, like a timer. We, we should remember the button could not be too small, or that would be very hard to use. Because the screen is quite bigger, so I think we can have a lot of opportunity in this screen. Next up, I was excited to learn more about the launch of the Phantom V Fold. When the device is folded, thanks to its micro-curved screen, it is like a perfect fit. When the device is unfold, it should be useful in many occasions. So if you look at the business, so the last screen provides a vital tool for meetings, for presentations, improving the way of communicating. If you look at it from an entertainment perspective, the screen again offers an immersive visual experience, which is perfect when playing the games or watching a video or a movie. We expect the developers to take the full advantage of the size of the screen, the powerful technology that is embedded into the Phantom V Fold, and of course the high OS 13, which is our own operating system that we have specifically developed for this device, providing the best user experience. Next, I headed to Honor to hear all about the new devices, the Honor Magic VS. Honor Magic VS comes with a 12.9 millimeter super slim and gapless design. It's powered by the all new Magic Operating System 7.1, which is based on Android 13. It provides a number of smart features that enhance the productivity. Simply swipe down with three fingers, you can save the online articles anytime. Honor Magic VS supports vertical split screen for both single app and two apps. What's more, the horizontal split screen. You can enjoy game and watch your favorite video at the same time. We would love to invite more developers to join us and co-create unique experience for football. It was super exciting to get hands-on with the next generation of light screen devices. As a developer, I wanted to know what this continued growth in light screens means for me. They are obviously here to stay. So I caught up with Ade Oshinai to find out more. So this is the start of an exciting new phase for the large screen ecosystem. The devices you've just seen, they cover a variety of price points. They also highlight the diversity of types of foldables that are available in the ecosystem. And finally, they also demonstrate the number of OEMs who are committing to this space. So we're very excited about them. So how does this growing large screen ecosystem impact the way developers should be thinking about their apps? Well, it means you've got to jettison some old assumptions about the size of the device, the orientation, the, the different ways it can flex and adapt. Can it fold? How big is it? What happens when I rotate it? Things like that. But it's also a chance for you to think about use cases that go beyond what app, that involve multitasking or multi-window. How is Google helping developers get their apps large screen ready? Well, there's two buckets. One is tooling. So that's, of course, Jetpack Window Manager, but it's also the resizable emulator so that you can see your app across a variety of form factors. The second is what we think of as guidance, and that's everything from the quality guidelines to the canonical layouts, the large screen gallery. And finally, there's the case studies so that you can see what other developers have done and what to aspire to. What do you say to a developer wondering, where do I start? Well, I'd say you're in the right place and there's two things you need. One, test on the resizable emulator and on a diverse range of real devices, experience the diversity of the ecosystem. The second I would say is keep an eye on the devices that are launching throughout the year. Each one is going to offer exciting new possibilities that you should explore. Check out all the resources you need to optimize for light screens at developer.android.com.